Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Plato State, I said praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. The night of wonders. The night of power. The night of miracles. You will not miss yours in Jesus' name. How many people are expecting God's touch tonight? Praise of that hand, we are going to pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight, we bless your name. We thank you because you are still the same. You are God and you change not. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We exalt you. We lift you up. Because we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Spirit of the living God, we thank you because you are here. You have the power, the anointing that brings the flow of miracles to every life. And I pray tonight you do the supernatural in every life in Jesus' name. Touch every life. Do something great for everyone. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to give me a better, better, better. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight we come together. And as we come together tonight, your mind is centered on God. Your hope is centered on God. Your expectation is centered on God. And tonight you will not be disappointed in Jesus' name. Tonight is a night of spectacular wonders. And somebody there is going to get the touch of the Lord. And the power of the Lord is going to reach your life in Jesus' name. I'm going to read a story to you in Mark chapter 2. And this will become your experience. It will become the wonder of God in your life even tonight in Jesus' name. It says in Mark chapter 2 reading from verse 1. It says, and again he entered into Capernaum. And then when he entered into Capernaum that some days, it was noise that he was in the house. And the Lord has entered into our midst tonight. It's there by your side. Somebody there I said is there by your side. And it's going to turn everything in your life around in Jesus' name. And we're told in verse 2 that straight away that means immediately. Many were gathered together. Is so much that there was no room for them even to receive them. Not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. That's how he always does it. The word and then the wonders. The message and then the miracles. And he sends forth the word unto you. And then when the word enters... And you accept the word. And you believe the word. The word will be confirmed in your life. The word of God is coming to you tonight. And this word will do something. I said this word will do something. It will bring salvation to your soul. Forgiveness to your life. Miracle to your life. Healing to your body. And deliverance will come for you in Jesus name. He preached the word unto them. You see, as many as received the word of God, and they received Christ the Savior, something good always happens. And for you tonight, I said for you tonight, are you there? What is it there? Something good will come your way. And the supernatural will touch your life in Jesus' name. Now comes the story. Now comes the story from verse 3. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of all. This man was so sick. This man was paralyzed. 
impotent, incapable of doing anything. And four people brought him. And he said, once we can get him to Jesus, everything will be all right. And tonight, once you can come to Jesus, every mountain in your life will vanish away. Tonight, all you need to do is come in the presence of Christ. Salvation will come to you. Healing will come to you. Deliverance will come to you. Power will come to you. You will never be the same again. And these four, as they wanted to come to the presence of Christ, there was no chance for them. The crowd was so much. So they thought, what are we going to do? Where there is a will, there is a way. And you say, I will not give up. You say something good is going to happen to me. They were so desperate that they said, today we're going to touch Christ. Today we're coming in the presence of Christ. Today he must do something in my life. What did they do? They went to the roof of the house and they removed the tile and they said, you know, you know what we're going to do to you? We'll carry you up. We know you're dizzy already. We know you're sick already. And we know you're paralyzed, incapable of doing anything. We're going to carry you up and we're going to drop you in the presence of Christ. The man said, carry me anywhere. Once I get to Jesus, everything will be all right. I come to tell you tonight, whatever happens, once you get to the presence of Jesus, everything in your life will be all right. Somebody there said everything in your life will be all right. I'm getting something tonight, where are you? I'm receiving something tonight, where are you? That's why I talk to you tonight on the wonders of Christ's unstoppable power. I'm speaking to you tonight on Christ's unstoppable power. The wonders that come, the miracles that come, the power that flows, the anointing that touches your life while you come to the presence of that Christ and then he touches you. He has unstoppable authority, unstoppable anointing, unstoppable power. And that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, that unstoppable power is here tonight. He is unconquerable. He is unbeatable. He is unstoppable. And because of that, He comes to you tonight. And thank God you are there. As you listen to the message, as you accept the message, as you believe the message, as you open your mouth and confess, and you say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I accept. That supernatural wonder, that spectacular wonder of Christ's unstoppable power will happen to you. And tonight is your night. I'm dividing the message to three parts. Number one, an undeniable passion for the supernatural. You see these people that came to Jesus and they brought this man. They had tried everything they could try. Scientific and traditional. They had tried everything they could try. From the jungle, from the river. They had tried everything they could try. From man and from everywhere in their own place in another place but there was no solution and you come here tonight you've tried everything you could try you've gone to all places you could go and there was no solution i welcome you tonight you've come to the final place of the solution when you get to jesus you don't need any other power any other source any other place Christ is the answer Jesus is the answer his answer is coming to you tonight his miracle is coming to you tonight somebody there a touch of miracle for you tonight an undeniable passion for this supernatural 
It was like the man was completely impotent. What could he do? Where else could he go? How will he get up? He was looking towards Jesus Christ. And he knew, if I get to him, I'm going to receive my miracle. But it was a barrier. It was a barrier of a large crowd. A barrier of multitudes of people. A barrier that hindered him. And he was telling himself, does it mean I'm going to miss it today again? Look at the large crowd. How will he recognize me? How will he spot me out? How will he get to me? How will I get to him? A barrier. When you are desperate. When you say he's going to touch me. And when you say he's going to bless me. And when you say he's going to heal me. You are not going to allow any barrier to hinder you or to stop you. That's why he did everything. And those people did everything they could do to get him to the front of Jesus. I'm going to give you a challenge tonight. The challenge of inviting you to come to Jesus Christ. Because I know he is the Savior. Because I know he is the healer. Because I know he is the redeemer. Because I know he is the deliverer. Because I know he is the final solution to all your problems. And so, as you come to Christ, somebody is coming to Christ tonight. I said, as you come to Christ, somebody there is coming to Christ tonight. He will touch your life. He will change your life. He will transform everything that is negative and become positive. The barrier that stopped him, a crowd of people, the barrier that stops you, may be your own sin. The barrier that stops you may be the evil you have done. Actually, God wants to forgive you. He wants to take the guilt away. He wants to take the condemnation away. But you allow unnecessary shame to stop you. And uh -uh, the people know you. The people might recognize you. If you say you are going to Jesus, they say, uh-uh, so and so of all people, don't allow anything to hinder you tonight. I will get to Jesus. Somebody there, I will get to Jesus. Somebody there, I said, I will get to Jesus. Somebody over there, I said, I will get to Jesus. Nothing will stop you. I said, nothing will stop you. Am I talking to somebody there? Nothing will stop you tonight. The moment you come to the presence of Christ, problems are over. Your tears are dried. The guilt is gone. The condemnation is gone. It will set you free. It will forgive your sin. It will change your life. Everything will become totally different from tonight. Other people, it is because, you know, I am a good person. You know, your goodness can hinder you. I mean, nice person, that being nice can hinder you. I'm so good, I don't need Jesus. I'm so nice, I don't need Jesus. I'm so upright, I don't need Jesus. That thing becomes a barrier. Other people, your riches can hinder you. What am I looking for again? I am so rich. What am I looking for again? I have wealth. Our position, you know, that thing can hinder you from coming to Jesus. Whatever you have, I rejoice with you because you are rich. I rejoice with you because you are well. I rejoice with you because you are position. But you know, whatever you have, you don't have enough until you get to Jesus. There is something higher. There is something greater. There is something more beautiful. And the Lord is going to give you that greater thing tonight in Jesus' name. The good things of life you have will not hinder you from coming to Christ. And the morals you have will not hinder you from coming to Christ. You know some people, they are morally alright. They behave well. And their character is wonderful. But you know, however good your character is, However beautiful your life is, 
you have not got enough until Christ will give you his salvation. And nothing tonight will hinder you. I am coming to Christ. I said I am coming to Christ. I said you are coming to Christ. And you will touch your life and turn everything around in Jesus name. What's hindering you tonight? You see fear hindering you tonight? Are they your friends hindering you tonight? Do you have a covenant with the occultic people? And because of that covenant you are not coming. Forget about that. All those covenants with an evil power cannot save you when danger comes. Do you belong to an association? That association is trying to stop you. Uh -uh. Tonight, Christ is expecting you. And you say, yes, Lord, I am coming. Yes, Lord, I am coming. What's the person I'm talking about there? What are you there? I'm coming to Christ tonight. Association will not stop me. Say it out. Let me hear you say that. Association will not stop me. A gang will not stop me. My riches will not stop me. My position will not stop me. I will get to Christ tonight. That's point number one. An undeniable passion for the supernatural. The man was passionate. The man was determined. The man was desperate. I must get to Jesus. My brother, that's all you need. My sister, daughter, there, that's what you need. Just to get to Jesus tonight. Wonder of all wonders. They went up to the roof. Wonder of all wonders. They dropped the man in front of Jesus. And Jesus spoke to him. The King of Kings spoke to him. The Lord of Lords spoke to him. The Savior spoke to him. You will hear that voice from heaven tonight. I said you will hear that voice from heaven tonight. Point number two. An undeserved pardon for the sinner. An undeserved pardon for the sinner. He wants to forgive you. It's not a forgiveness to merit. Look at this man. The man is paralyzed. Look at this man. The man is impotent. Look at the man. The man is helpless. Look at the man. The man even doesn't have any job. Look at the man. The man doesn't have any money. You couldn't buy that forgiveness, you know. You couldn't buy eternal life, you know. You couldn't buy salvation from Christ. Do you know that? You couldn't buy the peace of mind. For your condemnation to be taken away. You cannot buy that. Peace of mind, you cannot buy that. Forgiveness, you cannot buy that. You can buy a ticket to America. You cannot buy a ticket to heaven. You can have anything you want in life. But you don't have the resources to buy the goodness of God. The grace of God. That's why it's all free. And then we're told in verse 5 of my passage. It says, when Jesus saw their faith. When Jesus saw their faith. The Lord will see your faith tonight. I said the Lord will see your faith tonight. Something that is intangible. Something that is invisible. Something that you cannot see with your natural eyes. How do you see that? He saw their faith, intangible, and yet he saw it, invisible, and yet he saw it. He saw their faith in their action. You do not see the wind, but while the wind is blowing, and you can see those trees moving, that's how you see the action of the wind. He saw their faith by their action. When you say, I will arise and I will go to Jesus Christ, I'm going to tell him to forgive me. He will change my life. He will give me eternal life. If you see down there, 
I can't see anything. If you see down there, he can't see anything. But when you say, I will arise. And you put action to your intention. You put action to your thoughts. You put action to your faith. And then you get up. Although the distance might be far, I'm getting to Jesus tonight. And then you come, you say, Jesus, here I am. I want your salvation. That's how you seize your faith. When you say, I'm going to turn away. You see, if you're doing something, and what you're doing is not right, you will say, I want a change. I want a transformation. I want salvation. I am going to repent. I cannot see repentance, except by your action. You stop that thing you're doing. You wash your hand off it. You get up, and you come out, and you come away. Away from that evil thing you are doing. That's how to see your repentance. When you say, I love the Lord. I can't see the love. I can only see that love by your action. The things I used to love, now I hate. I hate drunkenness. I cannot see the hatred for drunkenness. Except you turn away from that bottle. Except to turn away from that alcohol. Then I see your love for Christ. Tonight he wants to see your faith. And he sees your faith by your action. Lord I come. Lord I come. I come for forgiveness. I come for salvation. I come for eternal life. You will get it tonight. Look at that verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith. When he saw the action of faith, when he saw the demonstration of faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Glorious day, glorious privilege, glorious expectation, thy sins be forgiven thee. You understand what that means? Sin brings guilt. Guilt is taken away when sin is forgiven. Sin brings suffering. Suffering is taken away when sin is forgiven. Sin brings oppression. Oppression is taken away when the sin is forgiven. Sin brings eternal damnation. And eternal damnation is taken away when sins are forgiven. And Jesus is the only one that has the power to forgive your sin. He's got authority. God gave him that authority. God gave him that power. Anyone Jesus forgives, Almighty God forgives that person. The Father and the Son are always in agreement together. God Almighty and Jesus are always in agreement together. Jesus and the whole of heaven always in agreement together. And when Jesus said, Son, your sin be forgiven thee. How could they call him Son? Because now it's like a child of God. Sins forgiven. Justification has come. Freedom has now come. Peace of mind has now come. Because Jesus said, Your sins be forgiven thee. Somebody there tonight, all your sins it will wipe away. I said, All your sins it will wipe away. It will take away the guilt of sin. It'll take away the condemnation of sin. It'll take away the judgment for sin. The punishment that should have come upon you. Tonight he wants to take that punishment away. He said, no, 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 I don't want that. I want to suffer my own punishment. I want to, whatever it is, leave me alone. If Jesus leaves you alone, to suffer for your sin, that will be terrible. But tonight, the grace of God is flowing to you. Tonight, forgiveness is flowing to you. Eternal life is coming to you. I will receive. I will receive. What's the person I'm talking about? 
I will receive. You will receive in Jesus name. That means the pollution of sin was wiped away. That means the punishment for sin was taken away. That means the power of sin was broken away from his life. Thy sins be forgiven thee. It was the best statement he could ever hear. It was the best thing he has ever heard. But he said, I am still sick. I'm still impotent. I'm still hopeless. I'm still powerless. Wait a minute, that one is coming. Healing is coming. Miracle is coming. Deliverance is coming. First things first. Number one must stay as number one. The foundation must be laid. The fundamental thing you must have. He got salvation. I said he got salvation. And the Lord is saying, salvation is coming to you tonight. Forgiveness is coming to you tonight. Take all those barriers away. Get out of your sin. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. I accept him. I believe him. I confess him. He is my savior. Let that salvation come tonight. And the peace of God will set in your life in Jesus' name. Whosoever covers up, hides his sin, cannot prosper. But he that confesses everything, and he says, Lord, I've been a sinner. I come to the presence of the Savior today. And I want that salvation now. The grace of God will flow into your life. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man is taught. And let him return unto the Lord. And the Lord will abundantly pardon. That's why it says, come now and let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they'll be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, he'll wash you as white as wool. Salvation is available tonight. I repent. I turn to the Lord. I give my heart to the Lord. I surrender my heart to the Lord. Salvation comes. It's coming to you tonight. I said it's coming to you tonight. He got salvation. Don't go yet. He gave him another sin. I come to point number three. The unlimited power of the Savior. This one we call Jesus. His Savior. His healer. Is deliverer is the one that will break every yoke in your life and now he tells him something and he's going to tell you something tonight look at this in verse 9 he says whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy that sins be forgiven thee or to say arise and take up thy bed and walk then he says, but that she may know that the Son of Man has power on us to forgive. He says to the sick of the palsy, I say unto you, it's going to release power now. I say unto you, it's going to say to you tonight, those blind eyes will open. I say unto you, those lame legs will rise up and walk. I say unto you, that mountain of swelling inside your body will vanish away. I say unto you, that mental problem will vanish away. I say unto you, that hunchback will vanish away. I say unto you, those heavy legs, elephantiasis, it will deflate that balloon. I say unto you, you are deaf and dumb, power is coming your way. You will hear, you will speak tonight in Jesus' name. I say unto you, are you bedridden? Are you dying of cancer? A sword of power is coming to you. The wonder of the world. The wonder of the world. The cancer will vanish away tonight. You believe that, let me hear your amen. 
And so Jesus released the power. He released the power. The unlimited power of the Savior. It will carry your load tonight. It will remove your mountain tonight. It will deliver you from insanity tonight. It will heal your incurable disease tonight. I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thy house. He didn't even touch the man. He spoke the word. He sent the word. I'm sending the word to you tonight. The word of authority coming to you tonight. The word of power coming to you tonight. The word of miracle coming to you tonight. When you hear that word, that word enters, it enters with power. And the man, look at the man. The man that could not walk by himself. And Jesus sent the word with power. And he said, Arise, take up thy bed, go thy way to thy house. I love verse 12. If you have your Bible there, look at verse 12. It says, And immediately he arose. Immediately he arose. Your healing comes immediately tonight. Power gets to you immediately tonight. The authority of the word does wonders in your life immediately tonight. And immediately he arose. And he took up his bed. What? Look at the man. They carried him. He couldn't carry himself. He couldn't carry anything. But now when the word of power came to him, he himself, he got up. Somebody there is getting up tonight. The lame is getting up tonight. That short leg is growing out tonight. And that withered hand is coming alive tonight. And those kidneys that are dead, you are coming alive tonight. He rose up. He rose up. And he took up his bed. And he went forth before them all. No secret before them all. No hidden sin before them all. Blind man, look up here. Before us all, your eyes will open tonight. Lame man, look up here. Before us all, you will rise and walk tonight. Whatever problem you have, healing is coming to you before us all. Because he has unlimited power. Power on earth and power in heaven. Power to forgive and power to save. Power to heal and power to deliver. The power to change your life and turn your life around. The power to life break and set you free. And the power to do all things in your life. You ready? I said, are you ready? One. First thing first. I said first thing first. You see what he did to the man? He said, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. He said, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. First of all, he deals with sin. And then he deals with the sickness. Sin, sickness, sin, sickness. Everything will vanish from your life tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you're expecting that forgiveness tonight, you're expecting that salvation tonight, you say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Lord Jesus, I come to you. And I'm going to commit myself to Christ. He will forgive my sin. He will change my life. He will grant me salvation. I want to hear him say to my soul that my sins are forgiven. If you are there tonight and you want him to forgive you, you want him to give you salvation, you raise up your hand. Lord, I am here. Where are you there? Lord, I am here. Let him see that hand. And let him see your faith. When he saw their faith, he saw that faith in action. He saw that faith and he said, I am the candidate. I want salvation. I want eternal life. I want your redemption. I want your forgiveness. What are you there? You raise up that hand. Wonderful. If you're raising up your hand, you will stand up. You're saying salvation. Wonderful. Salvation. Wonderful. Salvation. 
wonderful salvation stand up right there and raise up that hand to the lord and say lord jesus i come lord jesus i come lord jesus i come i want you to forgive me i want you to forgive me and he has never denied anyone that asks for salvation whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever 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 shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved anywhere you are you're raising up your hand and you're standing up anywhere you are you're raising up your hand you're standing up just close your eyes there and you tell the lord i accept you i believe you you're my savior you died for me to take my sins away lord i believe that you are telling me now my sins are forgiven accept that believe that confess that salvation has come if you know salvation has come say amen keep up your hand there i'm going to pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for all these who have raised up their hands and they're looking up to jesus to be their savior in your love in your mercy in your compassion by your grace forgive them in jesus name take their guilt away take their condemnation away take the oppression of sin away break the power of sin away from their lives lord let assurance come to their lives right now that their sins are forgiven that you're giving them your salvation that they have eternal life now give them peace of mind confirm it in their hearts thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name we pray amen that miracle is coming your way if your eyes are blind very soon you will see you are lame very soon you will rise up and walk you brought anybody mad you say very soon everything will be normal and then you brought deaf and dumb people after the final amen you check up on them those deaf ears are open the dumb tongue will speak out you're in a wheelchair or you're lying down a match the power of god is coming your way you will rise up in the strength of the lord any problem you brought you raise up your hand and then you lay the other hand on your cell and then we're going to pray when you hear the final amen counselors stay there don't leave them when you hear the final amen you will check up you'll discover a miracle has been deposited in your body are you ready i'm looking for you where are you candidate for miracle candidate for healing candidate for deliverance raise up that hand father in jesus name we glorify you tonight because of your power the power that cannot fail the power that is always working i come on behalf of all your people here tonight i'm asking lord reach out to everyone in jesus name break the power of evil from their lives break the power of sickness from their lives break the power of evil spirits from their lives tonight total healing tonight total deliverance tonight supernatural wonders tonight spectacular miracle confirm it in every life in jesus name i pray for those who are very spirit of insanity that spirit of insanity madness i command you come out in jesus name that spirit of epilepsy i command you come out in jesus name i pray for those who have any swelling in their body that hunchback that elephantiasis that hernia that tumor that fibroid i command you Come out in Jesus' name.
confirm that miracle in their lives, Lord. Lord, I pray for those who have incurable disease. That cancer, I command it to be healed. Also, I command it to be healed. Paralysis, I command it to be healed. HIV, AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, send forth your power. Incurable disease, you are cured. That impotent man, you are cured. Helpless man, you are cured. Manifest your power on everyone in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. Lord, send forth your power to those deaf ears. Those dumb tongues, loosen them in Jesus' name. Begin to hear. Begin to speak. Lord, confirm it in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are blind. Cataract, I command you to come out. Glaucoma, I command you to come out. Those blind eyes, receive your sight in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any pain of arthritis. Your knees or your ankle. Your waist or your shoulder. Any part the pain of arthritis is. You pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have one leg shorter than the other. Short leg, I command you to grow out. With that hand, I command you to come alive. And those who are paralyzed in any way, that stroke, I command the stroke, get out in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed, receive the strength of the Lord. Receive the power of the Lord. Stand up on your feet. Rise and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for everyone now. To my right, to my left. In my front, at my back. The power to come upon you. Your healing to come right now. Your deliverance to come right now. Signs and wonders to come upon you. What you are not able to do before you do it. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody shout. You got it. You got it. Open those blind eyes now you can see. If you were lame before, rise up. Now you can walk. Anything swollen in your body before checkup, it's gone. Anyone that was mad there, check up on them, they're healed. Miracle to the right, miracle to the left. Miracle in the middle, miracle everywhere. It's happened. It has happened. It has happened. It has happened. And then you bring them out as you see the power of God coming upon their lives. Miracle. All over the field, miracle. All over the field, miracle. It's there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You've got it. You've got it. You'll never be the same again. Shout of joy. Everywhere miracle. Everywhere signs and wonders. Spectacular. 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 It's happening. It's happening. As you see it, come out. Don't be a spectator. Participate. Get your own. Rise up and come out. Rise up and come out. As you discover your miracle, don't force him, don't force him. The miracle is there. Allow them to come out. If you are lying down on the floor, rise up. The power of God that release you. Shout of joy. It's happening there. Another miracle. Another miracle. Another miracle. Another miracle. Please bring them to my left. Our leaders will be here to interview them. They will come and give their testimony. Come on. That's miracle. That's joy. That's joy. That's the power of God in action. Don't lie down on the bed. Don't sit on the wheelchair. It's no more meant for you. Rise up. The Lord will release you. Can you see the clutches going up? Drop your clutches. You can walk. Talk to the deaf. Talk to the dumb. The dumb. They will hear. They will talk. God has done it. Miracle. 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 
Miracle. Miracle. It's happening. Another one. Another one. Another one. Come out. Come out. Come to my left. Our leaders will see you. I will give you a position to come and testify of what the Lord has done. Check up. Check up. Check up. Are you on the hospital bed? The Lord has released you. Rise up from there. Check yourself. Once you see it, come out. Come out, come out, come out. You will share your testimony. The Lord is moving. The power of God is moving. Don't be left behind. Another one, another one. Check it up and come out. Blindness, gone. If you brought somebody blind, Show him sign. He will identify those signs. God, I don't need. Can I? My leaders, please interview them and bring them. It's still happening. It's still happening. Why the testimony is going on? Check yourself. Discover it. Watches are going up. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If I attack someone from Shanta, he has he had HIV AIDS for some years back. And it affected his health and life. He came in here with swollen legs and he cannot walk without this stick that is lifted up. To the glory of God, after the prayer of the man of God, he is perfectly healed and he can stand on his feet now. Okay, let, let him walk. Let's see him. Can you interfere, Musa? Walk. Can you see? Can you see? Put your hand together for Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful, spectacular miracles. HIV, HIV clear. God is at work. The next testifier, please. My name is Irene Adedeji. I am from RCC G in Bukuru. I came here with my mom who brought me. I've been using these glasses for the past three years because of diabetes, sugar. My sugar level was high. That was why I had partial stroke and it affected my eyes. But this evening, I don't know what happened, but I can see. I've removed my glasses. These are my glasses. I cannot just be happy, but I'm too happy to shout. I just want to bless God. These are my glasses. I can see with my eyes. I can see everyone now. Sunata Iring Adedeji Tafito Naga Bukuru Ta Shekara Uku de Uche Ida Nu Tatana Fani the one Madu Bibaya Adua Alla Yawka de Eta Domitana the Chio Diabetes they have a taba getting Ida Nunta and Zuta Wurwari. Diabetes that affected her sight cleared. Put your hand together for Jesus. She was sugar to be put up on my issue. The next part, testifier. My name is Olakwese Margaret. I'm a student of University of Joss. I came here with arthritis and headache for 12 years. I, they carried me here. I was in pains. I've been in pains. I've been a problem to friends, family, uh, everywhere. But now I can jump. I can. I feel. I feel light. I feel. I, I, I'm free. I'm free totally. Put your hand together for Jesus. Twelve years diabetes vanished away. Sunata Margaret Tazona the Chi on diabetes. Baya Adua Mutumi Allah Tawariki. The next testifier, please. What a shade, Akuma. The Lord is good. Spectacular miracles. Spectacular wonders. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the goodness of my grace at him. Since four months now, I am suffering for kidney. I'm not feeling it. But now, the first prayer I went past to pray. I take my healing. Now I can feel you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Kidney failure reactivated. The kidney has come back to life. She can jump. Put your hand together for Jesus. Spectacular miracles. The next testifier. What's the shade, 
Nina Mesuna, Pam Jamuri, the district church, no Kugo, that is from region now, Barkin Ladi. Nasa Mohasari, that was 2003. Then I don't know, we attached Kumayanzo, I've been a cafe in Zoyo, the Zamaman de Sokiva, in a tapama, and Yanke, Jijui, and she a Kasusua. Tango is so young. I want a local chin of Mukasamo and Nasa Kosa Kabawa Ubanjiji. Now I get a couple of Yanzina Tetia. Sunana Pan Jamurim. Left, right, left, right, left, right. The man is matching. The man is matching. God is wonderful. Jam your hands together for Jesus. He had accident in 2003. They caught some part of his bones and muscles. But after the prayer of the man of God, you can see him marching like a, a military man. God has healed him. The, the next testifier. The Praise the Lord. If you not hear for the last 20 years, but after the prayer of the man of God, you can hear. I asked him how long. He said over 20 years. That means he hears. Praise the Lord. Deaf ear for 20 years open. Put your hand together for Jesus. Spectacular miracles. Let's listen to another testifier. One. Two. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Say what? She has been dumb and she cannot talk. And after the prayer of the man of God, you can hear her now. She can count and she is counting. <laughs> deaf and dumb. She was deaf and dumb. And dumb. For the, since she, she was, was born. born. Yes. And now she can hear, she can hear her and now. she can talk. Put your hand together for Jesus. <laughs> Bata ji bata magana yezuka shina mchia pinde